Hello whiskey lovers and welcome to another one of Mark's Whiskey Ramblings. Exciting for two reasons, because this is going to be the very first rambling I will be doing on a Belle Blair release. I've never spoken about Belle Blair before and this is already video 450, 460, 470, something like that. So almost 500 ramblings and this is the very first time that I will be talking about Belle Blair. And it's not just any Belle Blair, this is quite an exciting release because this is a distillery only. This is a Belle Blair 2006 hand bottled at the distillery and it's got my name on it. I did not collect this myself, I'll be honest, even though I will be going to Belle Blair real soon. This one was actually brought from a Belle Blair distillery visit by my good friend Marcel from the Netherlands. So thank you Marcel for uh, bringing this and thank you for also providing me with the sample so that I can leave this bottle in my collection for just a little while longer. In the meantime, Let's do give this a try. Uh, and, and who knows, Marcel, if I'm going to Belle Blair in, in September 2022, I might return the favor. I'll give you a call when I'm there. And if it's a new battle and, and you want one of them, then I'll be sure to return the favor and bring one for you as well. Oh, and where did the sun go? Anyway, to think that um, the label does not even mention any cask type. It only mentions a cask number. It says here that this is, in fact, uh, bottle 115, whatever that means, from a Belle Blair that was distilled in 2006 from cask number 438. But nowhere does it mention, is this a bourbon cask? Is this a, a sherry cask? Is this whatnot? We do not know. What we do know is that this is uh, bottled at cask strength of 50.3% ABV. And it's a uh, beautiful, bright golden, which makes me believe this might in fact be a bourbon cask. Let's find out on the nose. Oh, lovely. Very fruity. I get crane cookies with some coconut. Apples and pears, sweet malt. Haribo bears and wine gum. So quite candy-like. Did you hear that? Crazy people and their motorcycles. Where was I? The Haribo bears, the candy-like sweetness of this malt. Ferns, limoncello, ginger, licorice, wood smoke. This is particularly complex nose. Absolutely amazing. 50.3, so let's find out if this gives us a kick to the teeth on the palate. Mmm. I actually get everything from the nose on the, on the palate again, but now this is supplemented with some, some notes of young branches, greenwood, if you know what I mean. Some yogurt with pineapple pieces in there, some camphored, a hint of fizzlies, gooseberries. This is fresh, clear, nicely fruity, and, and, and even a bit playful, if I may say so. And there is even a hint in the back, a hint of white chocolate. Mm, very good indeed on the finish then. The finish is long, quite herbal, and it dies a bright death, if you know what I mean. Wow, an excellent Belle Blair that is much more complex that, that, than you would say at first sight. This is one you need to take your time for, and I'm very happy that uh, Marcel brought me this uh, uh, distillery exclusive, a Belle Blair 2006, so basically that makes this a 14 years old, something like that, uh, from a bourbon cask, a single barrel hand bottled at the distillery beautiful. Thank you, uh, Marcel. And that's all for this week's rambling, my very first Belle Blair rambling. There will be more to follow, I'm sure. And uh, I hope to see it one of Mark's uh, whiskey ramblings real soon. And until then, may the mob be with you.